Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to topic 3.8.1, which is about the alteration of the sequence of bases in DNA and how it can alter the structure of proteins from the AQA A level biology specification. So let's have a look at our specification. We need to know that gene mutations might arise during DNA replication. They include addition, deletion, substitution, inversion, duplication, and translocation of bases. Mutations occur spontaneously. The mutation rate is increased by mutagenic agents. Mutations can result in a different amino acid sequence in the encoded polypeptide. We need to know that some gene mutations only change one triplet code. Because the genetic code is degenerate, not all such mutations result in a change to the encoded amino acid. We also need to know that some mutations change the nature of all base triplets downstream from the mutation, resulting in a frame shift. So let's make a start. A mutation is a change in the DNA base sequence. It can occur in two places. A mutation may occur in somatic cells, i.e. normal body cells, which may result in cancer. They may occur in gametes, which can mean that the mutation will be passed on to the offspring if the cell with the mutation takes part in fertilization. There are six types of mutation. In a substitution mutation, one base is substituted for another. In deletion mutations, one or more bases are lost. In addition mutations, one or more bases are added. In duplication mutations, a sequence of bases or a whole gene is inserted twice or multiple times. This is important in expanding the genome, as one of the genes can mutate and code for a new polypeptide, while the original continues to work as normal. In inversion mutations, a base sequence is removed, rotated by 180 degrees, and is inserted back again. Note that inversion mutations are very harmful, as almost every codon is different, so the polypeptide produced will be completely different and almost certainly dysfunctional. And finally, we have translocation mutations. Here, a sequence of bases is taken out and inserted at a different position in the genome. This may be within the same chromosome or between different chromosomes. So why might a mutation not have an effect upon the phenotype? Some mutations may take place within introns, some may take place in non-coding regions between genes, and also because the genetic code is degenerate, the sequence of encoded amino acids may still be the same, as the new codon may code for the same amino acid. Or the amino acid may be changed, but the overall tertiary structure can stay the same, as the R group of the amino acid may still form the same type of bonds with other amino acids. So a substitution mutation may not be harmful. The rest are very harmful. This is because mutations like addition, deletion and duplication mutations cause a frame shift, i.e. all bases shift in one direction because the number of bases is changed, meaning that every codon is read differently. Finally, we should know about different types of mutagenic processes. Mutagenic agents increase the rate of mutations. Base analogues can substitute for a base during DNA replication, which changes the base sequence in the new DNA. Some chemicals may delete or alter bases. And finally, radiation may alter the structure of DNA, causing problems during DNA replication. Additional notes on mutagenic agents can be found in my video on topic 3.4.3, Genetic Diversity Can Arise as a Result of Mutation or During Meiosis, which you can access by just following the link top right. Great, that would be this part of the specification covers. We have covered how gene mutations may arise during DNA replication, including addition, deletion, substitution, inversion, duplication, and translocation mutations. We have covered how gene mutations occur spontaneously, and how the mutation rate may be increased by mutagenic agents. We have covered how not all mutations result in a change to the encoded amino acid due to the degenerate nature of the genetic code. And finally, we have also covered how a frame shift is caused. That would be it for now guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe, comment, next time we will be covering topic 3.8.2.1, most of a cell's DNA is not translated.